All right, I wanted to come back to this one. You guys are probably screaming, you're too thick, you're too thick. Uh, I should have just changed my shell thickness to something smaller or at least left it where it was. So I'll just go back through and do this one. I will use the shell command. I'll pick the top face. And instead of an eighth, I will go with one sixteenth. So I type in one divided sixteen for a thickness here in the inside thickness and hit tab. And it calculates it for me. And I'll select OK. And you can see there's your results here. And if I were to double click this to modify it to turn this back on and hit OK, I could go to view <clears throat> shade with material oh she's already had that on how goofy so you can kind of see where the hidden lines are where it's going to represent thickness of the material on the inside so in here it will be empty it'd be hollow so if you're going to 3d print this it'd be faster well you got to use that's another conversation how I set my densities. Anyways, this part's all hollow inside. Um, again, if I double click the shell command, I can rotate this part around. Whew, it is taking a sweet time. And I'll grab this face. Double click the shell command. <clears throat> I'll pick this face here and select OK. And then that's the result I get instead. <clears throat> so I'd encourage you guys to go ahead and try and build this part and have some fun with the uh, shell command.